Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, so it's market outlook time. I want to take a look at how this market, as we've had it out of the weekend and had the first couple of days of, I guess you could call it footies week two, how some things have gone exactly according to what we expected and some things have not. The content, I think, is in that part that has not. I want to talk about why maybe this content is a bit lackluster. Just talk about it for a second and how maybe that could pick up during the week this week. But as of right now with the upgrade packs, right, which we talk about upgrade packs a lot. That's a big thing for me. And I think a lot of people in this game is being able to grind and craft the SBCs, especially for us people in this game right now that are playing at this stage of the game. We want to be able to have that craft ability for a lot of these cards with the special items that are in packs to do the SBCs. And we don't have that ability this week with the upgrade packs that they released. So that was a big L, right? Again, I talked about it last week and even in a couple of videos a couple days ago, it's just I was a little worried about this week with these cards being in packs again, with the upgrade packs, how are they gonna be able to keep a really hype week of content two weeks in a row with the same cards and packs? that are actually a decent ways off. Again, what is the meta and what people are using right now in FIFA, which is team of the season, summer stars and path to glory. So I wanna talk about that and some market movements that we are seeing tonight, even with squad battle rewards or this morning, I guess you could say. So we'll dive all the way into that. But first thing is first, yesterday the content, we had ourselves the icon moments SBC that was expected and that was Ronaldinho. Now, according to Footbin at the moment, Ronaldinho, uh, is on the market at around 4 million coins, right? PlayStation, 4 million coins-ish. And his SBC is coming in at about 3.2 to 3.3. So again, just as we expected there, similar ratio to Hullet, right? Hullet was like a 4.5 million coin card. His SBC came out and it's like 3.7, 3.8 mil. So yes, it is an undercut in value and you could say it's quote unquote worth it. I'm not going to be doing this. I would love to get Ronaldinho, but I am not going to be doing this SBC at this time. I think if I'm going to be doing Ronaldinho, it's going to be at a way better of a time to actually craft with upgrade packs and the way that I like to do things. I mean, yes, you could definitely craft right now if you really wanted to, but it's not going to be easy because both for the 82 plus player pick and the 83 to 89 player pick, you have an 81 rated squad requirement, which is one of the biggest buzz kills with upgrade packs that you have to have a squad rating requirement to do them right again 81 rated 70 chemistry for the 82 plus player pick that's just like i don't ever want to see the 82 plus player pick released as an sbc again because they're always going to require this 81 rated squad and i really think people don't like that and it's not worth what the cost is right now i believe to do this it's almost like 20k not qu not, not quite 20k but it's like 15k maybe to do this 81 plus player pick in the 83 to 89 as well you know, that's like 12 to 13,000 coins because you have that 81 plus rating in there as well. And to me, why would you pay 12 to 13K to get an 83 or an 84 when right now with fodder being so cheap, that SBC is literally not worth it. It's literally not worth it because you have to be getting yourself an 87, 86 or an 87 to make that SBC worth it. And you all know from an 83 to an 89 player pick, you're probably most likely just getting 83s, 84s, maybe some 85s. So that's why I think the upgrade packs this week are such an L. Now there is another grindable place in FIFA right now, but it involves gameplay, right? We'll talk about the whole draft situation in a second too, but I want to speak a bit about SBC fodder once again. This stuff is low. This stuff is mad low. Again, with the SBCs that we're getting not being as desirable and as hype, we even had an Icon Moments player pick SBC, and that really didn't move fodder that much on Saturday, maybe a little bit, right? Now today or yesterday on Sunday, uh, we had the Ronaldinho SBC, we had the upgrade packs, and that was basically it. So again, that is basically all supply and no demand for that fodder. So you still have Allen, Bernard, Coman, Bruno Perez, Marquinhos, which is a decent looking card. Uh, and these SBCs are going to get a lot cheaper this week. Of course, you've already seen their prices kind of go down. Marquinhos is like a 450,000 coin SBC day one. He's like 370K to do at the moment. I'm not saying that for the content this week, I don't think it's going to be a huge L. I think they're going to be releasing still. They're going to have some of those player picks, right? I mean, last week we had the La Liga um, player pick. 
uh, that was an insane hit, right? That was a huge, in insane SBC last week that a lot of people got really, really insane stuff from, from that La Liga player picked a party bag one. Now, this week could be something where we see another one of those, but it's just a different league, right? Those player picks can come at any time because they don't have to be added to the code. We actually won't have any notice of when those release. So if you want to do a little bit of a club stock, again, 80, 84s right now are like 6,000 coins a piece. This is the cheapest that they have been uh at least in a couple weeks so i'm i mean i'll say it right now if you want to get involved with a few of these cards 6k especially if you get them on bid is not bad at all right i'm gonna actually buy a few of these up because i don't plan on doing a lot of upgrade packs this week so a lot of these cards if i'm gonna be doing like a player pick sbc i'm gonna have to actually go out and buy these guys off of the market or have them in my club to get that SBC done. So, you know, it might be worth this week, especially if you're not planning on doing a lot of upgrade packs. Um, you know, maybe it, it is a decent idea for you to go out and to snag a few of these cards on bid today. Of course, they could drop a little bit lower. It just depends on that preview pack supply. Again, now that we're out of the weekend, um, I guess they haven't been doing lightning rounds. So it's kind of the, just the same thing. Our SBC fodder this week is really just gonna depend on what packs they put in here and also, what kind of demand that they bring out with those SBCs during the week. A lot of get player pick like that, people are going to remember how that was last time. I do expect to see probably another one of those this week, right? Or some sort of player pick upgrade pack. We had an 86 plus player pick last week. I think that those types of SBCs will continue. So I do think there'll be opportunities to buy and sell fodder in a, in a short term time frame, probably in like a 24 to 48 hour race window. Uh, so tonight, honestly, could be an opportunity where you buy up some of those 83, 84, 85 rated cards and look to ship those out today on Monday, right? If we have a big SBC like that player pick, that would absolutely be a great time to dish them out. Because again, you don't want to hold on to them too long because again, you might have some of that preview pack supply that would control their prices and keep them in check. That's kind of how we've been seeing it. That's how it happened last week. So that's just one thing that I want to put out there. We still have the footies player pick, which I feel like this was really hype at the beginning. And now is if you don't get a team of the year card, this player pick SBC is not that hype. So we have a lot of players out. I mean, also what people are doing today, and we will talk about this with squad battle rewards. Um, I'll talk about the market first, but also what happened with rewards tonight. Again, people are doing the objectives for Smith Rowe and for Nketiah, this dynamic duo. That This is another thing we could see more of this week. We've seen the Everton and Arsenal. Maybe they're going to go through a bunch of the Premier League teams. And since they've already started on this kind of... There's there's a couple ways where they're going right now. They've done a couple Brazilian player SBCs with Marquinhos and Bruno Perez. And they've also kind of gone with a Premier League route. So I don't know if there's going to be another... Um, you know how we had last week with like all of the La Liga objectives and SBCs. Are they going to push Premier League for a Premier League weekend league requirement or Brazil, you know, for maybe the next weekend league plus requirement for a specific nation or league? But again, I'll even talk about this right now. What you're seeing on the market at this time is people are finishing their weekend leagues. They're going out and buying cheaper meta cards for this objective. Uh, Smith Rowe and Enketia are both completed inside of the free, uh, friendlies mode. Uh, Premier potential, which requires... Basically a full prem team, uh, six prem players is and three minimum clubs, right? Now take a look at some of these prices tonight that you're already seeing some of the stuff bounce up on. Like Ferran Torres, I believe, was like 130,000 coins at one point on Sunday. And it's actually been since Squad Battle Rewards that these cards have actually gone up a lot in price. Ferran Torres, 151. What if Conte was a card that he was down even below 90,000 coins, I believe, uh, and he has now risen back up to 100,000 coins. What you're seeing is the low tier. Some of these special cards that are in packs, but they're on the lower tier of things. You, you kind of see these guys like Conte was 90K yesterday on the PlayStation 4. I'll show you right now. He was 90K on Sunday. And now, especially after squad battle, he was he was 95 and has kind of shot up in the past couple of minutes as or a couple of hours as you're seeing people buying items to go and complete that objective. A lot of the lower to mid-tier Premier League cards are having those sorts of movements. Again, the Ferran Torres was one. Let's check this Cavani because he was just down to like 130. Boom, he's actually 160 if you have two cards sell there. Uh, Cavani was down to 145, which actually was a big undercut. But he was like 140, 145 uh, at points yesterday on Sunday. Uh, and I'm pretty I legit just saw this Cavani at 130. But you see that there's not many cards to like 150. So... 
Um, this card, you know, I'm going to keep an eye on this guy for sure, because I think there's a lot of people that are going out and doing that objective for those cards, because what is there to do right now in FIFA, uh, except that objective and grind foot draft, right? Grinding foot draft is actually a way who would have thought right now where you can maybe grind some cards and have some fun on the game a little bit, but it involves playing the game too, which is a bit of an L for some people. Now, again, a lot of your loud league cards, big time drop off, right? I don't need to show you all these graphs. This was as expected. It happened spot on per always. Gomez is 300 play, uh, K plus. He's down to 250. Jordi Alba is down a bunch. Uh, Maldrich foot birthday had a huge drop off over, over a hundred thousand coins to drop off on this card. Um, out of the weekend league. Again, these cards, this is always what happens, right? Take a look at this 430 yesterday with the drop. He was how much on Saturday? 560K, 560K. Again, keep an eye on some of these cards. They could bounce back a little bit depending on the SBCs and content that we see later on this week. And maybe they just bounce back a little bit from the panic selling. So as always, keep an eye on maybe your Acuna, your Tots uh, Varan here, maybe your Militao, who's not down a ton, it seems. Uh, but just keep an eye on some of those cards that are super duper meta from La Liga um, or just peop ones that people are going to say, man, this is look at this De Young, bro, 465K. How much was this guy before this all happened? He was 600K. The uh, objectives came out. Boom. He shot up. He was actually 586. He shot up almost 100K to the high 600s and a huge drop off since Saturday. Boom. He was in the 600K range, dropped off 100K yesterday alone. 465,000 coins for the young card that just still provides great links and that's very good in this game so that's the kind of stuff that i'll be watching out for but again that la liga weekend league sell-off was uh basically as expected it was pretty nasty huge undercuts huge price drops and that is what we were expecting so again that is definitely one area of the market i would keep a watch on and maybe trade with a little bit but it seems like some of those premier league cards are going up a little bit because people have some coins they're going out, completing the Smith row. And that's, again, kind of what there is to do right now in this game, which is which is crazy that we the menus seem to be lacking with quote unquote grindable content at the moment. Because if you're going to do some SBCs, you actually have to go out and buy those players. Um, now, let's talk about the um, let's talk about the objectives that we could maybe see later on this week. I'm really, really hoping that we see another sort of grindable objective. Now we had the Atal last week. And again, honestly, when I think of this week in FIFA, it's going to all be about finishing up these objectives. If you haven't finished up icon swaps as well, um, you know, we have got only four days left in this season seven. So your level, your season seven progress getting to, you know, level 30, you, you've got basically this week to do it. It feels like a really objective based week with Smith Rowe, with Enketia, maybe finishing icon swaps, finishing a tall if they were to drop uh, another player objective, which maybe they won't because again, the uh, season ends in four days, but with this at all, they dropped it for 26. So that, I don't think that would hinder anything. And we also have the footies draft days, right? Which you get some pretty decent packs. You get the Mason Mount card again, if you want that one. Prime gold players pack, a double 86. Um, a player pick, 85 plus. So I mean, the Rooney card for 36 wins. I mean, there's some really, really cool rewards that are from this grind. So that's kind of nice at least. But the only problem is, is that foot draft still just kind of... It's foot draft, right? Like who really, really, really wants to grind foot draft in July or August, right? I Now I actually made this foot draft myself last week before this whole draft stuff started. So I got a pretty good draft, I think. So I might give it a shot this week because the objectives are there and that's just a way you can grind the game and get some packs right now at least. So it's nice that they're giving us that outlet. And of course, if you did not know that you could don't have to pay 15,000 coins for the draft, there is a absolutely insanely easy SBC uh, which is a draft token upgrade, which is repeatable for the next 12 days. You basically just turn in a squad of non-rare golds with one rare, and boom, you get a 15k value player, or sorry, uh, token back from that pack. So just kind of crazy to see that that is what EA is kind of like pushing right now. And again, as you guys have talked about, and of course, as it has been spoken about as well, it just kind of sucks that the players that you see in draft, like obviously that squad that I had there was decent, but a lot of players are not getting very good items to pop with their uh, foot draft, um, I guess, selection for their teams. And then also just the rewards that you get back have not been juiced at all either. So that's a bit of an L, but it is kind of a way that if you're good at the gameplay that you can 100% grind this week. And we have ourselves a walkout out of this random pack from squad battle rewards. And we just packed a Subasly 88 rated. We move. 
Now that's the kind of fodder that I need. Now that's going to be tradable, which I might just throw on the transfer list. But uh, that's that's what we're looking for from uh, Squad Battle Rewards. A nice 88 rated card right there. It's probably like 20k. But my Atal grind this week has paid off a little bit right there. So that's a GG. Um, again, with this market this week, I really just think it's going to be a lot of, it's going to have to be the SBC content and the objective content that pull us through. Because for a lot of us, especially with no upgrade packs to grind, it's going to be a bit of an L. And I don't really think a lot of people want to grind gameplay at this stage of the game. People are probably going to start saving their packs for Friday when we have batch two dropping. Like it's going to be kind of feeling like to me, we're going to have to not not suffer, but just get through this week of content. Hopefully, EA put out some cool stuff. And then once we get to Friday with Batch 2 coming into packs, then we'll be like, all right, there's something legit coming here. And we will have to kind of, I guess, assess that when it comes and hopefully have some more hype content along those lines. We never saw the Renato Sanchez SBC. I was so hoping for that. I guess it still could come because he had his uh, footies card or his, uh, sorry, his foot birthday card was in april so i guess there's still technically a chance that we could get a renato sanchez as like a footy's favorite from april but i think that would still be a bit of an l i'm just going to take my coins on this man 22k for subis i'm not going to use him in my team he's not going to get any game time i'll take my 22k from squad battles um but still it seems like the content this week has just been it's just been here, right? So we'll see what happens today on Monday. Again, we had an Icon uh, player pick, Icon Moments player pick. I did that yesterday, and I got a terrible pull. I got Van Basten was the best card available. So that definitely stunk. Um, you know, 86 plus player pick, the 88 plus times five, the Moments player pick, the Party Bag, King Kazu. I hope we have more of those dynamic duos this week. I hope we have another Hidden Gem SBC, a Party Bag player pick. Honestly, EA just kind of run back the content from last week, switch it up a little bit, give us some new players, release another Icon Moments player pick, but make it 92 plus, keep the squad requirements the same, and it still could be a pretty fun week. So that's, again, I would say if you want to make any sort of small investment fodder to me at this point does look a little bit investable because it is cheap, get it on bids, right? Bids are just, you can save yourself. Maybe get a card for 100, 200, or maybe even 1,000 coins cheaper at this stage of the game. It's a huge deal, right? It's a huge deal when you're seeing the card go up three to four or five K and that's just going to increase your ROI big time. So getting those extra good prices on bid, if you're really grinding the market right now, might be something good to do. So honestly, I might be starting to save my packs to be completely honest, because I'm more excited for this Friday than anything else this week in FIFA. So that's just my opinion on what could be happening this week. It's just a bummer that the upgrade packs are an L because it's going to be hard to grind Ronaldinho, right? League SBCs, there's a couple of them that are going away in two days. La Liga, Liga B, uh, B, 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 A. You still have the Prem League SBC, Commonwealth Libertadores, but this stuff needs to get re-released as well. EA Sports, we got to re-release this. I mean, you can't just forget about this, right? These need to be out. I don't know why these are non-expiry anyway. It's just kind of annoying that those are not getting re-released as well because people that are liking to grind BPM and then grinding these league SBCs, I mean, right now there's really no incentive for them to be on the game as well. So draft this week, objectives, hopefully we do get another player like an Atal. And hopefully, uh, actually today on Monday, we should see another player pick fan vote for an SBC that would come out on Wednesday. So keep an eye out for that. We'll see who they do. And then on Wednesday, another vote for an SBC on Friday. So that seems to be the schedule that they'll be doing with this stuff. Of course, last Monday, we had the Koke and the Manolis voting. So hopefully today we have two banger SBC options to choose from. And it should be fun, right? It should be fun. And hopefully it's just another good week of content, right? Even with these lackluster cards, lackluster cards and packs. I mean, Team of the Ronaldo's in packs. How lackluster is it really? But at this stage of the game, it kind of is. So that's the market outlook for this week, boys. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit down below. Comment down below what you're looking forward to this week. But hit a like and also a new subscriber would be greatly appreciated. So I'll catch you guys later. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Peace.